Hey you lovely faces, I am back with my second review. My first review is on the Pro Beauty Tool Styler, and I am back with another one. It's been a little bit, but I'm up and at them, and I've just been really busy. But a couple weeks ago, I was totally having a grungy off day, and I wandered into the makeup section at Walmart. And a great tip is don't go makeup shopping when you feel kind of grungy and gross, because you will want to buy everything in sight, because you want to look like Taylor Swift. Or, or Keira Knightley or whoever's the makeup model in that big poster in front of you. And so just make sure you're feeling good about yourself when you go makeup shopping and it'll go a lot better. So anyway, I was having a totally grungy day. I was wearing cargo shorts. I had just been helping my mom clean out the backyard with sticks and leaves and bagging it all up. And it was really gross. And, um, and then I went shopping afterwards. Long story. And... I stumbled across the CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation. Can you see it? My camera sucks, but I think you get the idea. You've probably seen the commercials a bazillion times where, like, Taylor Swift is flotty dying around perfect because she's pretty much, I'm sure, born perfect. And I'm not sure she needs a foundation to help her out. But, um, yeah, I want to be perfect too. And I'd also like Taylor Swift's hair and singing abilities if you could get on that god um but yeah anyway so i really wanted to try this foundation it's been out for like at least a year or two and um so i grabbed it and i got 305 sandstone and the one thing i have to warn you guys about is even though there are, there's a decent array of shades it's like maybe 15 or 20 i'm not exactly sure um, do not count on the little test cards that you lay against your skin to be a very accurate match to what you really need because I tried it out, my mom was there to help me, um, and it was really off. The shade that it actually matched my skin tone was way too dark when I actually tried it on. So make sure you can actually get a swatch on your skin to know that you are getting the right match because if you don't, you could come home looking like a brick, like, or sandstone when you're not sandstone. Like, I don't know why they like naming their colors after stones and stuff, but um, I will say about this foundation that I really, really do like it, and I'm pretty hesitant to say that about foundations because most are really heavy and um, kind of sometimes cakey and masky, or they have way too much shimmer, and sometimes they're like oily, or they have bad coverage, and I have to say that this actually, I don't have any of those issues. Like, it's medium coverage. It's pretty lightweight, so you don't always feel it when you're wearing it, which I really like. But it's it's not super heavy coverage either. Like, it's not cakey, and it's not light enough. It's so light that it doesn't do a good job. I'd say it's a happy medium. Um, I'll give you a close shot of my face. I'm wearing it now, and you're getting to see me in all my ghostly glory because I am just a pale girl and I'm not afraid to just rock it and I really do like that they have some lighter shades for us pale girls because it's hard finding the right shade when you're so pale and so it ended up really matching my skin tone well and the coverage is really good with a good primer I would say that this will last all day without reapplication. That's just me, and I don't sweat a lot, and my face isn't very oily, so it may vary from person to person, but personally, I like how long it lasts, and I'd say the coverage is pretty good the whole day through. Just make sure you prime, apply with a good makeup applicator, like a good brush, and then set it, and it will last for a very long time. And so overall, I would probably give Nature Lux um, foundation um, about, I'd say, a 9.5 stars out of 10. It's really good. It's worth checking out. It even has a SPF 10, and that's probably about the only reason I might not give it a tiny bit higher, is because I wish it were just a little higher than 10, but it's really not even a huge drawback if you apply sunscreen before you put this on I'd say then it's a 10 because it's pretty near perfect it's one of the best drugstore foundations I've yet to use so if you're interested I definitely re recommend checking it out you might not 
wake up looking like Taylor Swift with her awesome hair or her voice after one use, but I would say that it's a great foundation and it'll make your skin look pretty good. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. You know, feel free to subscribe, comment, check out my other videos. Yeah, so, thanks, guys.